Hi friends! So I wanted to go ahead and show you everything I am bringing with me to Tipper and Friends this weekend. Um, I am working, so this is going to be based around working in a food booth. So I'm not going to be bringing as much food as I would be if I was a patron and not a worker. Um, so that's the only thing that is different. The only thing. I do not change what I wear or how I act. Um, in a work environment uh, at a festival. Like I will still wear my festival outfits in the booth. I'll still dance in the booth and have fun, you know, like I'm there to work, but I'm also gonna have fun while I'm doing it because you're at a music festival, you might as fucking well. So first things first, I wanted to go over a few important things that I think are extremely important to have at a Florida festival. And the reason why I say that is because in Florida, it could be really fucking hot during the day and then super cold at night, um, depending on what time of year the festival is. And because we're in the like beginning of May, we are in that kind of like halfway period where one week we're having, and climate change has really been fucking this all up too, but one week it'll be like hot all day and all night, and like this week it's hot during the day and then cold at night. So you kind of want to pack for everything. <laughs> you want to make sure that you have clothing for warmness and clothing for hotness and clothing for in between because you don't want to be caught in that position where you're uncomfortable. So I'm not gonna show you the tent that I'm bringing um, until I get to Tipper and I'll show you guys like a whole setup and like a whole pan view of my tent and everything when I get there. Um, it's just because it's a really big fucking tent that I normally don't bring when I'm going by myself. Um, but I have a lot of friends who are going to Tipper. Um, so I decided I'm gonna bring the bigger tent just so that way I can have friends in my tent and I can kind of like actually be comfortable um so the first things first is a laundry basket you want to make sure that you have a laundry basket when you're going to a festival because you're gonna have a lot of dirty clothes and there's nothing attractive about dirty clothes all over your tent floor and there's nothing attractive about having dirty clothes mixed in the same duffel bag as clean clothes um even if you have the clean clothes and ziplocs like i do it's still gross and weird and just a big confused mess so just bring a small laundry basket i got this at the dollar tree for a dollar 25 and it works perfectly they have different colors too i just like pink um so like grab a laundry basket uh bring one from home if you have to but having a laundry basket saves fucking lives at music festivals um, next, have a big bag. I use this big tote bag for like walking to and from the booth and like just around, smacked myself in the face, um, and just around the festival in general. Um, and in here, I'll keep like these little emergency um, packets, which I um, have a few of them in here. Um, I don't personally use tampons. I keep these for other people. Um, I use period panties like the washable reusable ones. These ones, you can get them off Amazon, a five pack for like 35 bucks or something like that. Um, but I carry these around for my friends and just for anyone who happens to have an emergency. It has a pad, a panty liner, a regular um, tampon and a super tampon. And these are applicant or applicationless tampons. So you do have to use your fingers, but it's eco-friendly and um, they fit in there really nicely. So I have a few of those packs in here. Um, they all have the same thing in them, just two tampons, a panty liner and a pad. Um, and it's just a cute little care kit that I keep in here. Then in this sparkly little bag here, I have extra hair ties and I have earplugs. If you do not um, have earplugs, you need to get them because your ears are gonna fucking start bleeding. Um, <laughs> so you, you're gonna lose your hearing. Please protect your hearing. Um, you can get ones that don't muffle the sound. And then I'll typically have like any other knickknacks that I need in here, but one other thing I have to have, I have this emergency strap, which is nice for if I find things or like if I'm bringing extra stuff to my tent from my booth. Um, like a lot of the times on the last day, uh, vendor like my food vendor will have extra food that they can't bring with them because they're traveling or whatnot so um 
typically since I live in Florida and I travel with my vehicle, they'll just give me the food and I will bring it um, home and keep what I want and donate the rest so that way the food doesn't go to waste. Um, so this just kind of helps with transporting like bags and stuff. I try to bring like reusable shopping bags with me just in case that happens. It doesn't happen every festival, but it has happened a few times. So I want to make sure that I'm not like killing myself trying to carry a bunch of food. Um, and then this is my lifesaver. It is my like pride and joy. I bought it used on Facebook for like 10, 20 bucks, I think. But they're originally like 40, 50 bucks. It's a down jacket. Um, so it's one of those little like poofy jackets and it just rolls up into this tiny little ball. But it's perfect for cold and hot weather. Like I can put it on if I'm feeling like overheated and the texture, like the material it is will kind of like cool me down. Um, and then I can also put it on when it's hot or sorry, when it's cold and it will keep me warm because it will also insulate my body heat. So. I really like having that and it's small and it literally stops right there so it doesn't take up the entire bag um, and it's a jacket that I can bring with me so I don't have to go do a complete outfit change I can just throw on my jacket um, and then I'll typically throw a few other things in here um, but I just made a Libby Wan bag which hold on let me go grab that <laughs> okay so this is my Libby Wan bag that I just finished making um, and if you don't know what a Libby Wand is it's this thing that like lights up and flies around um but I also have my hand fan in here and typically I'll just put it in this bag like just throw it in there you know what I mean um but because I made this and it fits in there perfectly I'm just gonna throw it in here if I have time to make a little like pocket for it to put it like right up here I will um but if not not a big deal um because it just fits right in there and I can just put that on my back carry that and I just bring these two with me everywhere and that's pretty much all I bring with me like to the stage or like to work um and then in this duffel bag here I have all of my warm stuff so this is like my emergency bag so I'll keep this in my car unless I need it um so this will have like uh you know extra jackets uh fuzzy robe you know like uh, fuzzy socks you know like a bunch of different things for if it gets super fucking cold at night out of nowhere um and then this is something that i have it's my little lanyard um my setup for my lanyard changes pretty much every festival but for tipper it's gonna be this one and in here i know you're supposed to put your phone but my phone is already waterproof so um, I'm going to be putting like the menu that I'm serving so that way I don't have to like stumble on my words. I can just pick it up and read what's on every item. Um, and then on the other side, I'm going to have the set times and if I can fit it, probably a map. Um, and this kind of helps keep them like safe from getting wet. It helps me not uh, lose it and it's accessible because it's right on like my stomach the whole time. Um, so that's something I also bring. Please make sure you bring extra socks and underwear. It is the worst thing to go to a festival and run out of socks and underwear. It is the one thing that you wouldn't think you're going to run out of, but trust me, they get dirty fast and you're going to want a lot. Um, in this big bin here, I have all my bedding. Um, so like my sheets, my blankets, my eye mask, my little teddy bears that I'm bringing with me. Um, and then in these little buckets, I have like my hair accessories and my candy and just more hair accessories. I know it's ridiculous. <laughs> and then I also have my tail. Um, and this is my actual bag for my hand fan. Um, but, and I have another one in here. Um, but I feel like this just kind of like screams steal me. So I try not to, you know, keep them in its original bag. I try to just kind of like hide it in my bag somewhere. Um, this part is completely optional, but I like to bring little gifts with me um, to festivals. It doesn't always happen. Um, but this time I finally do and I have this cute little basket for them. And they're just cute little, I have a bunch of them. They're just cute little uh, mystery box, like little mix, mystery bags with like uh, oatmeal bags for your bath or wax little things for, um, you know, like little melting wax candle things. Yeah. 
really cute. Love handing those out. And then in this bucket, we have awesome toilet paper. I don't really bring a lot because I also bring baby wipes. And to be honest with you, when I'm working festivals, I don't go to the bathroom that much. Um, number two wise, number one wise, constantly because you're drinking so many fluids. But, you know, you kind of don't need a lot. So I just have one roll. And then I have this cute little handy dandy broom and dustpan for the tent. And then inside the box is just all my toiletries. So I have a bunch of extra stuff in here that I uh, might need like painkillers, uh, anti-acids, aloe, um, a little back massager, my braces because my body likes to fall apart, uh, little lamps, little lantern lamp things, you know, a headlamp, extra bags, some twine, you know, just extra random knickknacks that you might fucking need, you know, keep all your toiletries in there, make sure you bring band-aids, you're gonna get hurt, you're out in the woods, all right, so that's all for in this bin, and we're almost done, actually, you don't really need a lot at a festival, um, Especially when you're working it, to be honest with you. It's kind of a privilege. Um, this bag just has all my clothes. So this double is like all my outfits. And in here is all my work outfits. So they're all separated into Ziploc bags. And then they're all squished down into here. And then extra pashminas. Um, and then the rest of this is just extra clothes and like uh, PJs and stuff like that. So... Uh, make sure that you have like an abundance of clothes because especially if you have a vag and you uh, get your unexpected lady, you know, lady friend, you don't want to have no outfits when your unexpected lady friend comes around because you didn't expect your lady friend. So I bring outfits that are cute and festival worthy but still safe for periods. Um, so... Uh, but I also bring not safe for period outfits just in case she doesn't come, you know? Um, <laughs> then this is my food basket. And like I said, I'm not bringing a lot of uh, this festival because I don't need to. Um, I'm working food, so I get food for free. Um, so I really just have to bring what I want for like when I'm off the clock. Um, so these are just little uh, gallons of block bags in case like I get food when I'm out and I don't want to get dirt in my food, I'll just slide the tray into this gallon size bag and put it in my bag. And it won't, like, if it falls out, it's fine because it's in a Ziploc bag. You can just eat it out of the bag. I'm not picky. Uh, the best hot chocolate known to man fucking kind, okay, it's from Vermont. If you don't know, I'm from Vermont, so I have a big fucking bias, but so fucking true. Um, and then I have some protein granola. Uh, it's the chocolate one. Um, I have marshmallows because you never know who's going to want to make s'mores. Um, and if someone has chocolate and if someone has graham crackers, I have the marshmallows. So, yeah, they were just sitting in my house, so I figured someone will eat them. Um, <laughs> peanut butter in the squeezy thingy because I like to squeeze it on not only my granola, but on crackers and bread and other kind of shit. So. And I could just squirt it and eat it. I love peanut butter. Don't judge me. I love peanut butter. <laughs> Enough said. I don't even have to tell you what that is. If you don't know what that is, I'm sorry for your childhood. Um, and then this little cup, I gotta bring my watermelon cup, which comes in this little bag, or this little strap, you know, that makes it a bag. Hence why I have to bring it. Um, then I'm bringing my giant Wawa cup because it's full of stickers, and I love it when people add new stickers to it. And I actually have a few stickers that I have to add onto it anyways that are in here um and then i have a little coffee like to go cup because um i might bring some coffee i might not but just in case and then this is just like my regular giant drink cup that i want to use in my tent because it doesn't spill like all my other ones um and then the very last thing 
that you should bring other than your tent. And um, I'm bringing a cot, which right here with that little sleeping pad on top, you see I kind of like tested out the theory. It works real nice, it's real comfortable, so I'm just gonna break that, that with me. Um, and that's gonna be what I'm sleeping on. So everything that I have can go underneath it. So like you won't see shit in my tent. It will just look empty, which is how I like it. Um, anyways. <laughs> and then the last thing that I'm bringing is this hiking bag. And I'll tell you what's in it. First of all, this is my patch robe. So I'm just leaving that up there because I don't want to throw it in a bag. Um, I kind of just want to carry it. So this hiking bag is huge, first of all. I love it to death. It's the bag that I used on tour, so that way I didn't have to um, bring anything but a hiking bag. Like, I lived out of a hiking bag for a couple months. It was awesome. Uh, can you hear the sarcasm? I brought two yoga mats, one for doing yoga and one for laying out in front of my cot to use as kind of like a rug. Um, and then inside here, that's all my hair stuff. Um, this vendor wants us to wear bandanas or hats to cover our hair. Um, so I have a bunch of bandanas and stuff in there and extra hair ties. And in here I have my um, shower towel, my first aid kit. We love it. We love a first aid kit. Um, it also has work gloves in there because when you're unloading um, the box truck some shit can get sharp um so you want to make sure to have work gloves if you're going to be working for a food vendor you are expected to help out with load in and load out which means you're going to be carrying heavy fucking shit out of a box truck in the middle of whatever terrain you happen to be on i've been on beaches i've been on concrete i've been on grass i've been on gravel none of it is fun okay um Concrete's definitely the worst. Beach, probably the most disgusting. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but we did it. So just make sure that you have work gloves, okay? Because it's it's not going to be fun if you don't. Your hands are going to hurt really fucking bad all weekend. Um, I also have this extra little baggie in here. It's a little thigh leg bag thing. And I really only like this for certain outfits, which is why it's in here, you know? And then the other shit that's in here is literally just um, my hammock, which comes with a rain fly and a bug net. Um, and then also my inflatable couch. If you don't have an inflatable couch, you're really fucking up, okay? If you're one of those people who brings the inflatable couches to the front of the stage, you're an asshole. You're the reason why nobody likes inflatable couches, okay? Couch etiquette is bringing it to the back. Bring it to the fucking back. Behind the people that are standing. Behind them. Not in front of them. Behind them, okay? Um, if you're bringing your couch, it's because you want to sit. You don't want to dance. You want to sit or you want to sleep. And we get that. That's fine. But do it in the back where you're not in anyone's way. Because if someone falls on you and you're in the middle of the crowd, it's on you for being in the middle of the crowd on a couch. Like at some point, if the stage starts to get busy, get your shit up and move. It's not that hard. Like it's being respectful of the other people around you um, and not being a dick. So if you're going to have an inflatable couch, please use it with etiquette. Um... If you don't have an inflatable couch, I suggest getting one and then using it with etiquette. Because <laughs> it's it's a lifesaver, trust me. Okeechobee, this year, I took this bitch in the back and I fucking passed the fuck out and it was amazing. I had a great time. You can still feel the bass. You can still hear the music, okay? You can probably hear the music from your tent. Like, you will be fine to be behind the people standing up, I promise. Um... But yeah, so that's all that's in here. And the only reason why I'm putting them in a hiking bag is because I don't feel like carrying a bunch of individual little bags. You just throw them all in one bag, you feel me? They're all in their own individual bags, but just throw it all in one bag. It makes it so much easier and quicker for load in and load out of your campsite. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this shit back in here. But that is basically all you need at a festival is the bare fucking basics and then maybe a little bit of extra fun stuff here and there. Um, I've gone to festivals with a lot less. Like I said, I lived out of this hiking bag for a couple months 
And if you want to see the setup that I had for um, traveling around the country out of a hiking bag, I will do a video on that if you want me to. Um, but yeah, for now, this is just what you bring for a festival. Don't overpack, but also don't underpack. Um, I've underpacked and I've had to like leave and go find socks and buy socks and like other little stupid shit that you should bring and have prepared. Um, make sure you bring all of your uh, charging cords as well. I did not show you guys those, but it's because I'm using them, obviously. <laughs> so whenever I go to leave, I'll be packing up, you know, my little cords and stuff like that. But yeah, that's, I mean, don't, don't overpack, don't overdo it. You don't need a bunch of shit. You don't need your whole goddamn life with you. But, you know, you're camping. So make sure that you bring camping stuff, you know, and stuff that's going to be great for camping. Um, uh, also in here, I have this camping towel, not the blue towel you saw, but it's one of those little small towels. It's about this big, rolled up, and uh, it unfolds into a full body towel, but you get it in on uh, Walmart. Um... And it's in the camping section and I just lay it down on my tent floor wherever I'm putting my bags and stuff so that way the condensation doesn't get my shit wet from the bottom I feel like that's just gross um luckily this hiking bag's waterproof so I don't have to worry about that with this but when it comes to like my laundry basket and my duffel bags and things definitely want to put those on some kind of towel or blanket um that isn't going to get like wet and moldy like don't put it on a regular towel because it's going to get wet and moldy and it's not going to dry properly that's why the camping um fast dry towel is a great one to use also if you want to prevent a lot of dirt in your tent make sure that you bring like a shallow like tomato box with you you know like a box that tomatoes come in um so that way you can put your shoes directly in the box kind of like a shoe rack when you go into your house like take them off step into your tent and then put your shoes into the shoe box and that way all the dirt and shit that's on your shoes isn't going to get all over your tent floor and then on your feet and then in your bed and everything else so i'll uh, just think about cross contamination and just think about how you would want it if it if you were living in that full time so that's kind of what i think about is if i'm living here full time what would i want with me Definitely a yoga mat for my feet um, and definitely a laundry basket. Two big things I didn't have on tour and wish I did, but they were just too big to bring with me. So um, definitely suggest those, highly suggest those. And again, you can get a yoga mat at five below for five bucks or less. You can get the laundry basket at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So, I mean, cheap shit, cheap shit. And easy stuff you can get you know make sure you have lots of cups so that way you don't have to keep buying cups you know have a cup that's reliable and you will do good i promise uh, if you want a hydration pack do that but i care about the quality of my water so <laughs> oh no thank you anyways um yeah that is it thanks for coming along and if you see me at tipper come get a little present um, I would love to give you a present. I will not have these with me when I am working. So please do not come to my booth asking for one of these because I will not have them with me. Um, I will only be carrying around this basket when I am walking around as a patron on my time off. Um, so if you happen to see me walking around with the basket, ask me for one. If you see me at my campsite, ask me for one. I'd be more than happy to give them to you. But if I'm at work, please do not ask me for any of these because I will not have them. I will tell you to find me when I'm off the clock. Um, I don't like to mix pleasure with business and most vendors don't like you handing stuff out of their booth that isn't their food. So um, no, I will not be bringing it to my booth. Um, I will be leaving it at camp or on my time off. All right. All right. Love you guys. Happy Tipper. And I will see you there, bitches. Mwah.